but it was raining. <laughs> that didn't last long. Hi. How y'all doing? Best way to chill out. Unwind. Lower Stoftian wedges. Proper potato wedges, although these are uh, quite thinly cut for lower stoft wedges. And some VR. Two dirty mugs. VR would be on the cards if it worked. Hmm. We need to talk about that. Just spoiler. VR does work. It does work. But run through a few steps. Because initially I was like, my um, my Steam VR ain't starting. Oh, Fedora. Oh, Linux. What is going on now? At some point I must have set my uh, desktop environment to be running on uh, Wayland. If you're running Wayland and you want to do VR, turn that off. <laughs> Anyone that ain't a Linux user is like, what the fuck's a Wayland? Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't worry about it, but turn off the old Wayland. And then I go to fire up the big demon VR chat. Because I already shooed the other day that VR chat still works on Linux, even with easy anti cheat. The the desktop version works, right? So I finally hook up my HTC Vive, plonk it onto my dome. Go to launch VR chat and nothing. I just hang in the Steam VR space and it says like up next VR chat, the VR chat logo. Nothing happens. Nothing. No easy anti cheat splash. Nothing. It does nothing. In fact, on a couple of occasions, it launched the <laughs> it launched the desktop version. I'm like, I can't. This doesn't work. It's not even come out onto my headset. But I have found a fix. Okay, <laughs> so spin this round, I'm not going to do it particularly hardcore, but for me own dome, to prove that I'm not going completely insane, because I, I needed a way to chill out today, and VR just seemed to be a thing, and I haven't been in VR in a while, I've done a lot of stuff like on, on kind of VR-centric apps through desktop usage, or I've bust out me... me quest. Um, so, but we, I want to use the Vive because, well, Linux VR and, and, uh, my FBT, my full body tracking stuff. I've got Tundras over there and I've got Vive trackers in the other room. Might as well use them, right? I haven't used them yet, but just in case anyone's having the same issues I was having, because I wanted to play the big boy VR chat. Just going to flip over to the screen. Ready? Point the old camera. At the screen. So, <laughs> no, I am running uh, VR chat right there now. Um, boop. There you go. I'm talking to my mate Jet. Sorry, Jet. <laughs> um, there's VR chat. There's some misc fluff. Steam web browser. So it is running, and that was just to show that we're running on. Um, Fedora, okay, so that's my Linux install. I want you to go to, if you want to play something like VR Chat, and now that um, Easy Anti Cheat is on, VR specifically, I want you to go to here, type in Proton. I want you to go down to Proton Experimental, which is what I told folks before to run VR Chat desktop mode on. All right, you have to right click it. Got properties, I'll open up this here. You have to go to betas, right? And you have to pick bleeding edge. It'll be on none by default, okay? Bleeding edge. This makes a big difference. Make sure that's on and realistically turn off Steam. Turn off Steam, restart your computer. You don't have to, but just do it for the sake of my sanity, all right? Then, I need you to go to here again and type in VR chat, okay? And this would actually matter if I wasn't already running the game, but 
you want to go to properties, okay? And then under compatibility, force, and then pick Proton Experimental. And that will run it under Bleeding Edge. Bleeding Edge will run the game in VR. If you don't have Bleeding Edge, Proton Experimental will just hang when you're trying to play in VR, but will seem to work fine in desktop mode. Okay, you have to set Proton Experimental to Bleeding Edge. There's a bug. And after you do that, well, as I just show you, right, uh, <laughs> you can run VRChat in Steam VR on Linux. It's not super smooth, it's not hyper fantastic, but it works. Uh, if you don't put it into Bleeding Edge, they don't say put it into Bleeding Edge, but put it into Bleeding Edge. It seems like Valve found an issue with Easy Anti-Cheat on uh, Proton, Proton Experimental, and they have advised, I believe they've advised the VR chat devs to mention or to do something with it until to mention experimental bleeding edge until it gets pushed into version seven, like a, a, a an update of version seven of Proton. But there you go. Fucking VR chat with easy anti cheat on Linux VR. <sighs> Probably not as smooth as if I was running on Windows, but frankly I can't be bothered to plug in my Windows drive. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, and so I've just spent my day just finding random worlds that are probably not very well optimized, just kind of loafing about and and relaxing, trying to just de-stress, man. No more moping, just uh, having a good time and trying to watch We Met in VR or We Met in Virtual Reality, the documentary. I think the intro is really the best part of it. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, it's an all right, it's an all right doc so far. I haven't finished, finished it, but it's, it's all right. It's all right. It, uh, it picks out a few people in VR and, and it's all filmed in VR chat and stuff. And it's, it's quite nice, you know, it, it focuses on a few people in a few different groups and what they do in VR and what it means to them and how the community has come together to, to make them feel welcome and, and you know how they've formed relationships they wouldn't have done normally and friendships they wouldn't have done normally and how they feel more comfortable because they can be whoever they want to be whatever they want to be and and all that kind of stuff yeah so you know fantastic now that's working i i wish that more things would just be optimized <laughs> and I, I mean for linux in in general at this point because uh, a friend of mine jet said about how folks are trying out chill out VR. Is it chill out? I think it is, isn't it? I've tried it, I'll see VR, but it crashes a lot on Linux. VR chat isn't a huge amount better at this point, but um, it's got the users on it. A lot more users on it, and a lot more maps on it, or a lot more worlds on it, and it's gonna take a while for all that to pour over. And frankly, I think um, CVR is basically where it was about a year ago. As far as users, that's what I was looking at on that stats page in my browser. Where, were, like, how many users did these games have at any one point? I think VR chats now to about 30, 35k down from like 42. And it was 42 around Christmas time. It's now sitting at the same average it's been for about four months. You know, so not a huge drop after this whole easy anti cheat thing. And uh, Chill Out has now gone back up to roughly where it was around the same time. Like it had a, a slump, but it was, had a high in 2021 of about a thousand users concurrent. And then it just <laughs> through the floor. I mean, you, you had something as low as like 50 users at times, and now it's going back up, but not hugely. I will go wherever my friends are. And right now that is VR chat. You don't have to agree with the devs, but I mean, they even pop a warning. Was it? There was a notification. Sorry, my headset. I should have just grabbed it on the on the on the PC here. But it was something like, yeah, no custom clients. Mods have never been allowed, and and all that kind of stuff. And realistically, they have said it. They've said no mods, like at all. No custom clients at all. I get it. We didn't like the terms of service. A lot of my friends don't like the terms of service, so they they used modded clients anyway. But 
It was in the terms of service. I still think they should have really put in a lot of the old um, accessibility stuff before they put in EAC. I think they should have done a fuck ton more testing <laughs> before they turned on EAC, but what are you gonna do? It's, it's not when a company, it's not if a company fucks up, it's when a company fucks up, or it's not if a dev fucks up, it's when they fuck up, because everyone will, I'm sure the chill out guys will um, too, um, and, and, and a load of other geezers. That it's, you can't be the golden child forever, but yeah. So if you want to play VR chat on Linux in VR, that's how you do it. I'm psyched to get my Steam Deck actually, because I've, I've started to quite enjoy playing VR chat not in VR, as weird as that sounds. Just being able to hook up a mic and talk and just do things is nice. And the, the idea I could do that on a Steam Deck is, it would be rad. Don't get me wrong, the immersion wouldn't be quite there, but realistically, it's just a nice chat room, you know? For me, I don't need mods. I don't need super high performance. Just being able to stand in the room and talk to people. <sighs> I don't get a huge amount of time to use VR. No. Anyway, yeah, chill out day, really chill out day <laughs> in VR, but not in CVR. We all need more competition though, I will say that. I'm gonna head off, hope you're well. I'm really glad I got that sorted because I actually opened up a ticket with the VR chat guys. I mean, they've said they're on a skeleton crew at the moment because uh, they, they've uh, got everyone else doing other stuff now to cover up for the easy anti-cheat thing. But I'll uh, message them back later and say, I don't, I don't need your help because I've got it sorted. But my fucking God, you guys need to test and you need to, you need to do something. There needs to be some tweaks made to get some of that performance up because there are some rooms, don't get me wrong, some rooms have crippled my 3080 before, but... Oh, it stings to be on a 3080 and get completely steamrolled. <laughs> and that said, I haven't had a particularly great time with Fedora running Proton and a lot of stuff recently. So I might swap back to um, some variant of Arch, Manjaro, or uh, I don't know. Maybe the, the same kind of thing as what we've got on the, on the Steam Deck. That's Manjaro KDE. That's their analog, isn't it? So I might, I might put that on and just... And just wing it with that because i do have performance issues with steam uh, on on this uh, on this distro uh, they're not terrible but just i don't feel i'm getting the performance i should do but actually using the operating system itself is fucking fantastic and just like zippy as fuck maybe as fuck it works fine it works great it's quick and responsive just not in steam <laughs> <laughs> but hope you're well and i'll see you all with a bit of luck in the next one I'm probably now about to get into... Is there another message coming through? I might be getting into another game of Tetris. That's how I ended yesterday. I was up until four o'clock in the morning playing Tetris with Inky and Divine. <laughs>